this video I'm going to work out an individual integral. It's going to be a very beginning straightforward integral that you would have learned uh, right after you learned integration. All right, no u substitution, nothing fancy. It's going to be straight algebraic manipulation of this uh, rational function here. So I'm integrating x to the fourth minus the cube root of x all over 6 square root of x dx. All right, so what I am going to need to do is I'm going to notice, hopefully, that I've got a subtraction going on there in that numerator, and then I've just got a single denominator. So if I break this up into two separate integrals, because it's real easy to take this rational expression and do that, then I can work them out separately and apply some laws of exponents. I can turn this square root into an x to the 1 half. I can turn this one into an x to the 1 third. All right, so that's going to be my first step. I'm going to break it into two individual integrals and go ahead and make those changes algebraically. So the first one will be an x to the fourth over a 6x to the 1 half dx. All right, and then minus because it was a minus up there at the beginning. All right, and then the integral of, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that as x raised to the 1 third all over the 6 x to the 1 half dx. All right, so the trick here is just seeing this rational function and realizing, okay, I'm going to break it up into two, and then I'm going to apply some uh, laws of exponents here algebraically just to manipulate these to get them down to something nice that we can integrate. Okay, so dealing with this first one here, all right, if I do do my laws of exponents right here, I can subtract 4 minus a half there. Okay, so I'm going to have the integral of, let's go ahead and pull the 1 6 out in front. So 1 6 x to the 7 halves dx. All right, and then same thing over here, that 1 6, so let's do the 1 6. And then x to the 1 3rd over the x to the 1 half is going to end up being an x to the negative 1 6. You know, applying that laws of um, exponents there just to simplify those. Okay, so we can pull the 1 6 out of both of these and integrate then because I'm just going to have a nice little um, x to the 7 halves, x to the negative 1 6 there. So let's go ahead and show that step of pulling out that 1 6. Um, the integral of x to the 7 halves dx. All right, doing the same thing here, 1 6 integral of x raised to the negative 1 6 dx. All right, now it's time that we actually start to integrate here, so I'll have a 1 6. All right, integrating here, adding 1 to that numerator will give me an x to the 9 halves. The reciprocal in front would be 2 ninths. Okay, 1 6 on this one. Adding 1 here is going to give me an x to the 5 6 And again, taking the reciprocal will be 6 over 5 there in front. I can go ahead and add that plus c now because I actually have uh, done all of my integration. All right, if we do a little reducing here, um, I can cross off this 6 and this 6. 2 goes into 2 ones, 2 goes into 6 three times, so I can reduce that. All right, so this will give me an overall term of a 1 over 27 x to the 9 halves. This one right here will give me an overall 1 fifth x raised to the 5 sixth power and then plus c. All right, so definitely a straightforward beginning, algebra, uh, beginning algebraic type of integral in the sense that you just got to use a lot of algebra steps. Do some manipulating here, break it up into two separate ones, and then work them individually. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.